Boy, oh boy. I know you might be wondering, my friend, am I going insane about Linux? My simple answer is yes. It's not my problem that the operating system is just beautiful, elegant, and simple to use. So talking about it and sharing my experience about it is the least I can do. Some people in the comments as well mentioned that I'm doing this for views. Listen, my dear friend, I know a lot of small channels owners suffer in order to get traffic to their channels. It's horrible. It takes time and energy. But if a group of channels use a specific technique in order to bring traffic to their channels, that doesn't mean every other channel use the same way, all right? What I'm doing right now no, is a hobby. I love what I'm doing and I'm not doing it for views or money. All right? So keep that in mind. Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. I hope you all doing good. I'll be covering a lot of stuff, including installing it, using it, blah, 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 you name it. But the first thing I will talk about is installing Linux. Listen, if I give you an installation media, let's say a USB, and tell you, hey, you see the laptop or desktop? Go install Windows on it. But the problem is you never installed Windows. I know you probably installed Windows for a million times now, but let's imagine that you never done that in your life. You're probably going to face problems. You're not going to know how to do it, it's going to be a horrible experience simply because you never installed Windows. The same with Linux. If you're not going to do your background researches and learn how to use Linux and install it, you're going to face problems. And that's obvious for a blind person. All right? Simple as that. The same with using it, as I said. Make your background researches. Learn how to use it. Don't just go blind in the dark. Linux is not as simple as Windows. It's a bit complicated. Just a bit. Okay? Just a bit. Don't be afraid. But not that complicated new you're not going to be able to use this at all unless you're like a developer or an engineer. Not that. A lot of people misunderstand the meaning behind Linux. It's simply like Windows, but with much more freedom. The second thing is your first time. Your first time using Linux, right? First time installing Linux. YouTube is your friend. And if you want to take it a bit further, there is AI. You don't want to watch a 20 minutes or 30 minutes video? Fine. Use AI. Ask ChatGPT and tell him, hey, ChatGPT, how do I do this and do this and do this? It will basically give you all the answers you need and it will help you immediately and you're not going to spend an hour just searching for something. I know some stuff take a bit of time to set up in Linux but overall everything almost is simple to install and maintain. So YouTube is your friend. There is literally everything in YouTube that you can search about and find an answer for. You have a problem with installing Linux? Fine, search on YouTube. You have a problem installing a specific application? Search on YouTube. You have a problem running a specific game? Search on YouTube. Real footage of real people fixing a specific problem? Problem, copy and paste. Don't make it look more complicated. Oh no, Windows is much more simpler. We all faced problems with Windows. And what did we do? We searched on YouTube and found a solution. Do the same with Linux and stop being a little girl arguing about, oh no, it's hard to use Linux. No, it's not. God damn. Chill. All right. The next thing. Change as much as you want. Read it again. Change as much as you want. Something this Windows doesn't have. And I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. What I'm gonna say is my personal opinion. You don't need to have the same opinion as mine. But as I said, I've been using Windows. Windows for my whole life. And Windows never been as customizable as Linux. Never. Underline that and keep it in your mind. Imagine buying a key that is worth $100 for an operating system to end up finding out that you cannot really customize it. How horrible that would feel. I'm sure it would feel so bad. So horrible. But something that costs zero, nothing, nada, gives more options than the operating system that you paid for. Isn't that joke? Probably is. So Linux is your thing. Completely yours. Do whatever you ones. This is my desktop in here. Everything in here is customizable. Even if you don't like the desktop environment, change it. You don't like your terminal? Change it. You don't like your star menu? Change it. You don't like your taskbar? Change it. Not only the position, but everything on it. You can change it. You don't like a specific thing? Change the hell out of it. As simple as that. It's all yours, and you can do whatever you want. Nobody gonna stop you. Not like Windows. There's only a couple stuff you can change here and there, and uh, uh, that's it. And even if you try installing a tool that will help you customize Windows, Microsoft will be like, no, 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 chill, that's a virus. The hell no, nah, let me customize my operating system. No, we're not gonna let you do that. It's a virus. Windows Defender type sh But it's not my business anymore because soon I will delete the whole thing and will stick only to Linux. Moving to the next thing, gaming. Listen, I'm not somebody that's been using Linux for 25 years or so. But I could tell you it's good, but not perfect. This year, Linux covered a big amount of games.
games. So now you can basically play any game, almost 90% of the games, you can play them with just changing one setting in Steam. Why 90%? Because some games that have entity sheets are not playable because of the support of Linux. But that's fine. In the soon future, that will be changed. But for now, you can either keep Windows as a side operating system, so whenever you want to play games, you can play games on there, or it can just stick to those 90% of games available, waiting for the day that those online games with anti sheets will basically be available to play. And if you don't want to do all of this and get yourself into that headache, buy yourself a PlayStation 4 or 5 and play those games. Valorant, for example, is available for PlayStation, so you can do that as well. Apex, all those games. Why I said PlayStation and not an Xbox? Well, I don't want to be targeted by uh, Microsoft. <clears throat> Use your brain. This is Linux, no Windows or Mac, with a smiley face in here. Listen, my dear friend, Linux is not as simple as Windows. You're probably so used to Windows. So the moment you will switch to Linux, you will find out that you're going to need to use the terminal here and there sometimes, and that you're going to install some extra stuff, some extra tools. This is Linux. It's not for beginners, but in the same time, I could say it is. But make sure you use your brain. Everything is not going to change itself by itself. You got to use your hand, your mouse and keyboard, make some tweaks and here and there. That's not going to be forever. Relax. You're not going to keep changing stuff forever. Once you set up something, it's there forever. And then you can be as lazy as you want. And by time, I promise you will find it's fun to install your apps or to tweak yourself your way. Freedom. Right. Boy, oh boy. So uh, me and you and my grandma and my dad grandma knows that Windows or Microsoft doesn't give its users that much freedom, right? You know that. You know that you're being tracked every single second, even if you're using Windows 10 or maybe even Windows 7. Everything you do is tracked from the pages you visit on the web, from the applications you use, settings. They know what you like and what you don't like. So freedom is not something available on Windows. They probably brainwashed you to think that you're free and that you own your operating system, which is Windows 10 or 11 or 7, but you don't. They own you. Everything you do is tracked. So the solution is Linux. Welcome to a whole different universe, I guess, where everything is your decision. You're not being tracked. There is nothing or no one that knows what you're doing on your operating system. So freedom is something you will get once you start using Linux. There is pros and cons, but most importantly, you know what you're doing, you know the purpose behind it, and you're not afraid of anyone. You just do what you need to do. You finish your tasks, and at the end, you're happy with the results. Something that's really annoyed me about Windows is the fact that I found out lately that I'm being tracked and everything I do is noticeable by Microsoft. I've been thinking about switching every single day until the day I decided to completely switch. Not completely, but I could say partially switch keeping Microsoft Windows 11 in the side, but in the same time, fully using Linux. That was the best decision I ever made, because for the first time in my life, I feel like I know what I'm doing. I know the purpose behind it. I'm not afraid that Microsoft will be tracking my steps. I'm not afraid that they will know what I'm doing. This was actually one of the reasons I installed Linux on my machines. Basically, I got four machines running Linux. This one I'm using right now for recording is the only one that's have Windows loaded on it, dual booted driver, but any other machine runs Linux. And I believe this was the best decision I ever took. Spyware. Right, the same. I think I should delete that one. Or maybe just cut that thing and paste it somewhere next to this one. Oh no, I'm stupid. No, that's not what I meant. Past, I mean better than nothing, I guess. Right? There is a clickboard somewhere in there. Oh, here you go. Come here. Yeah, here you go. Past, you stay here. Okay? Now, should you use Linux? Or let's say, should you install Linux in the first place? My answer is no. Well, you're waiting for me to tell you to install Linux? No. I'm not going to force you to install Linux. I'm not going to let anyone come to me and be like, oh, I installed Linux. It's the worst thing I did. Never tell people to install Linux. Well, I'm not telling you to install, okay? I'm just sharing my opinion. But in the same time, I'll tell you to install Linux, okay? It's it's not like I cannot stop myself, okay? It's just super good. There's some pros and cons, as I said, but it's not for everyone. Make sure you do your researches. I'm not going to say go blind in the dark. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm sorry. A lot of YouTubers just send you to hell and be like, hey, you got to do this. Do it. You're forced to do it. You gotta do it. And if you don't do it, you're a bad person. You're stupid. Partially, you might be stupid if you're using Windows. Okay? I'm sorry. Don't take it in a hateful way, but letting somebody spy on you is not, it's not a really good decision. Sorry. But at the same time, it's good. You get much more freedom. For people that have low-end machines, just like myself, install Linux. It's good for you. If you're gonna do some gaming, keep Windows as a side machine. But overall, your experience with Linux is not gonna be that bad. Before, let's say there was a 
bit of limitations, especially with games, application supports, and all of that. But nowadays, I believe there is a lot of alternatives, especially for editing apps. I know some people might not be ready to switch to Linux because Adobe, which I currently use as well, I use Adobe apps, let's be honest, uh, on Windows. As soon as I find some alternatives, there is like, for example, GIMP as an alternative for Photoshop, but I'm not ready for that just yet, okay? Just relax. Probably not going to use Windows ever again. I'm sorry, find this alternative as well. There is some caveats here and there, but make sure you install your operating system or you choose your operating system based on what you need. If your workflow is about editing or about Photoshop or about Adobe Premiere Pro, keep Windows because Linux is not for you. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, keep Windows. Linux simply doesn't work well with NVIDIA. If you just want a simple operating system and you don't really care about spyware and Microsoft shit, keep Windows. Nobody is forcing you to switch. I'm just telling you my experience and my opinion about Linux just so you learn a bit more about Linux. But I'm not telling you to install this. So make sure you make some researches, you learn here and there, basically have more knowledge about Linux before you actually start using it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, even if it was a really bit annoying for some people. A lot of Windows users gonna hate me for what I said. After all, I'm sharing my opinion as as I can. There is some stuff that we cannot hide, like spyware. We all know that's recall is simply a spyware. What do you mean taking a screenshot of my screen every second? Isn't that obvious? Well, uh, yeah, this was really it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Of course, let me know about your opinion as well in the comments. I will be really happy to read it. And yeah, see you in the next one.